What's up, dope family? What's good? What's popping with y'all? Your dope sister is back with another dope word. So family, listen, sometimes God will allow me to feel the hearts and the spirits of those people who are connected to me and attached to me. And so today, I just want to speak to those of you who are feeling weary, those of you who are feeling like you have no place in this world, those of you who are feeling hopeless, those of you who have not found your purpose. Listen, you are not a mistake. You are an answer. Your life is not a mistake. You are the answer to a problem in this earthly realm, in this world. You were created by God on purpose, for a purpose. God says that before he even formed you in your mother's womb, before your mama even thought about you, God knew you. God had a plan for you already. Because Jeremiah 29 and 11 tells us that God knows the plans that he has for us. And they are plans to prosper us, plans to bless us, plans to give us a hope and a future. So you were not put here on this earth just to take up space. No, you are the answer to a problem in this world. You are needed. God does nothing in vain and God makes no mistakes. Everything that God does, it is for a purpose. So regardless to how you were conceived, your conception was not a coincidence. Regardless of how you were conceived, regardless of how it happened that you got here, God took the DNA of two people, mixed it together to bring you forth. It doesn't matter how how you were conceived god just used them as the transportation system to get you into this world so the day that you were born the time that you were born when you were born how you were born all of that was strategically designed and planned by god so you're special God has something on the inside of you that somebody else needs, that this world needs. There is a problem in this earthly realm that you are destined, that you are purposed to solve. It doesn't matter that other people are doing it. They're not you. They can't do it like you can do it because they haven't been purposed to do it or they haven't been wired like you god has uniquely designed each and every last one of us with a specific purpose and so when he thought when he when he created us he already knew our beginning to our end because he's the alpha and the omega he is the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. So God already knew the plan for our life. So therefore, the good, the bad, the ugly that you've gone through in life, listen, it's all a part of God's plan. It's all in God's plan. God knows what he's doing with you. You're not waste. You are not just here just to just to be here like you're not here just to roam this earth and just die no god has a specific purpose for your life god wants to use you in this earth god said we are the salt of this world we give this world that flavor we season this world so that means that there is something here for you to do. Listen, the Bible tells us that we are all a part of the body of Christ. We are all 
a part of the body of Christ, but the, there's one body and that body has many members. And listen, you're one of those members and every member has a different task. Every member has a different purpose within the body of Christ. God has assigned each and every last one of us a specific and strategic purpose. He already got this thing mapped out. He just wants us to stay connected to him so that he can, he can lead us and guide us to where we need to go so that we can find our purpose and we can live out our purpose. And if you don't know what your specific purpose is, if you haven't found your purpose, if you're feeling lost, then listen, my best advice for you is to go to the one who made us and created us. Go to God. Pray to God. Ask God to show you what your purpose is. Ask God to show you what you were created for in this world. What problem are you created to solve? Ask God that. And I promise you, he'll show you. Because a lot of times, it be that very thing that God puts in our face as a problem. But because that very thing frustrates us and it takes um, work, it takes dedication, it takes consistency, we don't want to do it. And that's the very thing that God be calling us to do. That's the very thing that God has put on our path or, you know, has assigned for us as a part of our purpose. But because we don't want to do the work, then we feel like that's not for us and we push it to the side. But listen, there is nobody on this green earth that can tell you why you were created. Because nobody knows why God, nobody knows that. That's the creator. God is our creator. So he's the only one that can tell you why he created you. We all were created with a purpose. So I can't tell you what your purpose is. I can't tell you why God created you because he created me too. And I got to know why he created me too. You feel me? Only God can answer that question. Only God can lead you and guide you to your purpose. Only God can tell you what your purpose is. Only God can show you. So you need to go to him and ask him to guide you to where you are supposed to be in life. Guide you to your, to your problem so that you can be the problem solver. Because God created us to solve problems in this earthly realm that will edify him, glorify him, and empower humanity. It's going to glorify God, but it's going to help this world. You feel me? That's what God created us for. So listen, everybody has a specific and a strategic plan and purpose for their life. And I just suggest you go to God to find yours. Okay? But I just want to tell you that your life is not a mistake. You're not a mistake. You're an answer. Okay? Listen, God love you. Your dope sister love you. But always make sure that you are loving on you. And remember, you're only dope because God is dope. Don't ever play with him. Period. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. And I will see you all on the next video. Peace.